Hey everyone, when I create art on the iPad, I like to create in multiple apps. Depending on what tools are available, I like to transfer my files back and forth. I'm going to show you in this video how I go about that. The two most common apps that I use that I'm going to use in this video are Autodesk Sketchbook and Procreate. Now the key to doing this is using PSD files. Now that stands for Photoshop document, which is a proprietary form for Adobe, but it works because it keeps all your layers intact and it's recognized by other programs. The first thing I wanna cover is if you were to purchase one, download one, or have one sent to you by email, this is how you would get it onto your iPad. First, it would open up usually in a browser, and now you wanna send it into one of your apps. So choosing this more button, all your app options will come up. So I'm gonna add it to Procreate and it's gonna send it to Procreate and that means it's sent. But now I have to go into Procreate and open it up and importing now and it's gonna show up at the top corner of my gallery. At this point, I can open it up and when I go into the layers section, I can see all my layers are intact. This file happens to be the grid PSD from my grid digital package and I have all the grids already set up on their own layers. So that comes in beautifully already set up with all the layers intact. Now let's say that we wanna save this on our iPad not in Procreate so that we could use it in different apps. We will go back in to our browser where we downloaded it and we're gonna look, see all the apps are available. So you can copy it to your Dropbox or another app or you can come down below here and you can put it to save to files because there is a file folder on the iPad and then you go in and choose which folder on your iPad you wanna put it into. Now, Procreate has a folder, but Autodesk Sketchbook does not have a folder. You can also put it into iCloud or you can put it into Dropbox from here. There's many options as long as you get it on to your iPad. So here I already have saved it in, so it's asked me if I wanna replace it. That's fine, I choose replace. So it goes into the folder on Procreate. So now I go into my folder app and I should be able to find it there. So here are all the folders on my iPad. I go into the Procreate folder and there it is, the grid letter PSD file. Because it's in the Procreate folder, when I select it or just touch on it, it's going to automatically open in the Procreate app. However, if I wanna open it in say Autodesk Sketchbook, which doesn't have its own folder, that's a possibility. I'm gonna show you how we go back and do that. I'm just quickly covering this as to how to get these PSD files on your iPad, but you can also create them in the apps and transfer them back and forth. We'll cover that next. So back into our folder on our iPad, we choose select in the top right corner. Now I can choose a check mark and I can share it to a different app. So here I have all the apps pop up and I can choose a different app to open this in. I choose Autodesk Sketchbook. It opens up with all the layers intact in Autodesk Sketchbook. See, they're all there. So now you know how to get a PSD file on your iPad that you perhaps have downloaded or have been sent. And now we're gonna try working on one and then transferring that work to another app. So I just got rid of the rest of the grid. So I only have one layer of grid to work with and I'm gonna to start to draw. So starting in Autodesk Sketchbook, and I'm just gonna use the grid file that I brought in and I'm gonna start drawing a mandala using the symmetry in Autodesk Sketchbook. My own workflow, I often like starting them in Autodesk Sketchbook because I have such a large range of symmetry options in this. I can go up to 16 divisions. Then I will move it into Procreate where I have more control over my brushes. So they each have something that I prefer. So here I'm creating on separate layers so that I can show you how the layers transfer. So I'm gonna show you how not to do it. Normally we would go into the gallery, we would save our current sketch and that would save our project. But I'm gonna show you there's another option here called Share. Now I'll show you what happens if you use that one. So we're going to go in and we're going to share it to Procreate and it's shared. And so now we're going to go into Procreate and in the top left corner is the new one. We open it up and see it's all on one layer. That's not what we want. That is not a PSD file. So go back into Autodesk Sketchbook. I'm going to show you the way to do it. Go into Gallery, save your current sketch and this saves it as a project. So your gallery is going to open up. You're gonna go down here to the right and you're gonna export it as a PSD. So when you choose that, it formats it as a PSD and asks you where you would like to send it. So then we're going to choose add to Procreate and there it goes sending to Procreate. So back we go into Procreate. 
Now the one that's open was the one from before. So we've got to go back to our gallery and in the top left, it, it shows up. So this is the one that was recently sent and there it is with all of its layers intact just as we drew it in Autodesk Sketchbook. So now I can continue on drawing in Procreate, adding another layer, putting in more symmetry, and using the tools that are available to me in Procreate. So everything you add on a new layer will come through into the other app as you draw it on that layer. Some of the formatting may not work. So if I put it into groups, which I like to use groups in Procreate, the groups aren't going to show up in Autodesk Sketchbook. So here I'll show you this. I'm grouping these layers and I'm just going to duplicate the group and then I'm going to merge one so that I have a flat version and I have a grouped version. The reason I do this in Procreate is because I like to do fills and the fills only work if everything's on the same layer. Different apps will offer you different options and different tools and that's why it's so nice to bring your artwork into one and work on it and then take it back into another one. There's other apps that you can do this. A lot of the apps work with PSD files so Graphic is another one that works with PSD files. There's quite a few of them so it's a great way to bring your artwork into different apps so that you can use different techniques. So I'm just going to finish off a few more details here and then I'm going to show you how I take it back into Autodesk Sketchbook again. So I don't go back and forth a whole lot. I usually try to do everything I want to do in one and then move it to the other. But sometimes you want to go back and forth a few times. So the way we get it back out is we hit the wrench tool up here. And then I choose the share option and I choose the PSD. So now it exports the file and asks me where I want to share it to. And I'm going to say Autodesk Sketchbook. So there it is loading back in. And it automatically loads in to the file, unlike Procreate where it's the last one you just had. So if I were to go back into my gallery, you can see that the previous one is still there. So it saved a new one for me and opened it automatically, which is very handy. So it's also a good idea to name each one of the projects so that you know when a new one pops in that it's a new one and not one of your previous ones. It keeps you organized. So now we're going to load it back into Autodesk Sketchbook. And if we take a look over here on the layers, you'll see each of the layers are there as well as the layers that were in the group but they're not in a group because Autodesk Sketchbook doesn't do grouping but see it does stick a blank layer in between so it helps you organize them a little bit. So we can go in and we can add in a new layer and start working in some more detail into our project. So I've only covered Autodesk Sketchbook and Procreate in this video, but a lot of the other apps have a PSD ability. They're all in different places and you have to go in and find them. They're usually under saving, exporting, or sharing. And some of them allow you to import a PSD file and others you have to share it from another source. These are the two apps that I love using the most, Procreate and Autodesk Sketchbook. So I really enjoy the fact that I can take full art projects and move them back and forth in between these apps to take advantage of all of the tool options. So let's try one more time taking this particular project back into Procreate. So we're going to export as a PSD from our gallery. And once it loads the PSD file, it'll ask me where I want it. So I want the copy to Procreate. Now you'll see there were two there, but the copy to Procreate seems to work better. It gives me all my layers. Remembering in Procreate that the last thing on your screen was whatever you were working on and you have to go back into your gallery and pick that item in the top left. So there we have all of our layers. Notice now it tells me that they were groups but it doesn't put them into the group. So the formatting changed going to Autodesk and then coming back again. But other than that, you get everything on the layers as you drew it, and it gives you so many more options to work between the two apps. So have fun experimenting with that. I hope that you find that useful and that it gives you more options to work on the iPad. If you want to share the work that you're working on, your beautiful projects, you can tag me at jspcreate or hashtag jspcreate. So I'm so glad that you joined me today. Go and create some beautiful art and enjoy, and I'll see you next time.